Well, there's a demand. The money is there. GPs especially. Because they see uh, GPs especially. Because they see uh, fewer patients are earning less because each consultation of a serious illness uh, doesn't bring them very much. Whereas for aesthetic, people are willing to. I've got nothing against people wanting to look, look good. It's just that some of these practices are questionable. So I think they have to be very careful. Lack of training, lack, lack of knowledge, too many young doctors without much experiences. She's very young, very, very nice chap. Just that uh, the way she was serving us, it's, it, if she were to be alone without her mentor being by her side, we will lose trust. Yeah, I know you do need that to help in order for you to become a doctor, but at the end of the day, you must respect the patient and the patient's family, especially when you know when the patient doesn't want to be disturbed. You need to get that experience in order to be a better doctor. But what I would feel would be better is you know to shadow an actual you know a doctor with higher experience. The good ones who can be really who could be the potential uh, future specialist. Younger ones, it, with any young cohort, some of them are very hardworking, some of them are very uh, inspirational, others are a little bit lazy, you get, you get all kinds. because it's too expensive. The recent one that I went for just flu and uh, cold. It cost me coming up to $40. Oh, you saw lo, just call it good. The polyclinics, you can wait up to three hours. When, when we, we request for better service, they are just like making it like a routine. And it's not like giving you really a, a, a genuine concern for it. It is very systematic, everything is in place, so it's very well coordinated in the sense. quite a high standard. I mean, if we were to see foreigners coming to us in terms of medical tourism... Because I've also seek other treatments when I was overseas at other hospitals overseas. And I think nothing beats the quality of service here in Singapore. One of the most inspiring is actually a personal experience. When my mother was, uh, was sick and then she went back and she needed to go to the hospital regularly for change in dressing. There was a nurse living nearby, the nurse from SGH from the ward, and she said she would do it for my mother so my mother didn't have to make that trip all the time to the hospital.